India has been a very um, important um, location for us uh, for various reasons. So one is this is our um, uh, in, in Bom- Mumbai we have two locations where uh, more than two locations actually where we have the team which does the um, the map creation which we call this data engineering and operations team. Um, they handle the the creation of the map and content uh, at a global scale. Um, we do also have our engineering team. Uh, which is also based out of a Mumbai office. Um, they also are a global team. They work on lots of global projects. Um, uh, and uh, there's another office in Bangalore. They are the more of handling the IT and IT infrastructure, the network operation center. Uh, Bangalore also has the team which does the uh, developer relationship, relationship evangelism. Uh, we work with uh, our developers uh, significantly in India as well. And then we also have another office, which is in Gurgaon, um, that is more of a sales marketing product office. So a scale of operations, which um, you, you, you rightly mentioned around 4,000 people, employees, which is close to our 40% of our global workforce. Um, and hence, India remains and is a, as a very important location for us. That's a very important question, actually. So uh, location is very horizontal. Uh, it, it's something which impacts the uh, the enterprises and the government and uh, various use cases very, very significantly. Now, before we go to specific to a customer on what the customer is using. So broadly, there are a few use cases which we see and how we see these helps. So for example, Um, location helps to make and save money for many operations and enterprises. You take the supply chain uh, industry, uh, logistics and fleet telematics and fleet management. This entire industry is dependent on location. When the goods are being, you know, uh, taken from uh, a city in the south of India and then it has to go to a city in the north of India or east of India from the warehouse to, uh, from the port to the warehouse to the point of sale. That's a kind of a um, you know, the canvas where uh, we, 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 we provide a solution. Um, the other side of our solutions also caters to uh, lots of e-governance uh, topics. Uh, India as also as a large country as I mentioned, um, the location plays a very, very significant role there. Um, the traditional use cases, which are the turn by turn navigation for automotive um, uh, users, that also, of course, we, we provide those um, uh, services. Uh, for India specifically, um, the use cases are still emerging. And, you know, even if we create and we want to understand that uh, for which particular use cases can be created in India. Um, so that, that requirement is, is still emerging for India. Um, so certain events, for example, or requirement, which is a 3D can be potentially used or 3D imaging can potentially use is, say, for example, um, a, a network planning, right? A network planning for for telecom, uh, especially for the 5G use cases, which is yet to arrive in India. So while we are waiting for those use cases to come in India, um, that is one, it's a bit of a timing issue. The challenge side, of course, um, uh, this is the tech has to uh, you know, work at a scale. Uh, we need to provide those solutions at, at a scale. So that is, is, is a bit of a, um, a reason we haven't uh, you know, started those processes for India. Um, so Asia Pacific and I start with Asia Pacific is very, very diverse and very vast. Uh, and it has, has own level of, of, of layering, like, for example, from Japan to Australia to China to Korea and India and Southeast Asia. There's very, very different markets. Um, the location services are being used very different scale and differently. Uh, as far as the numbers are concerned, in India, we do see the, the overall um, location services and then just kind of a disclaimer here because these are also very very multi, uh, multiple layers which which uh, exists so as 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 a triple digit million uh, kind of a market size we see uh, us dollars um, uh, which has various elements of um, say location services which as mentioned there are geospatial services which is, is kind of a survey work hardware and then software etc
I, I'll not be able to kind of a look at a five years, maybe five is a little far, but take the context of uh, what we are today, the COVID, right? Um, and the COVID has impacted all of us. I give an example on the supply chain side, and and supply chain is one of areas where we uh, work very closely with many many such enterprises. Now, previously in the pre-COVID days, the supply chain management used to work on a is kind of a just-in-time principle. Most of the manufacturers and the suppliers used to work like, how do we manage the inventory? And you know, it should be more on a, you know, all this 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 this, this ERP solution, uh, the software will work with a with a say, okay. How much inventory we keep, and how what should be the minimum order quantity, and how, when we ask for the supply, etc. But that's totally changed now. The reason it has changed because suddenly the demand side of things have changed, uh, and then the supply side uh, has to then respond to the new demand side, starting from the e-commerce and the food delivery. That industry has now transformed significantly. Um, more and more people have now. Or ordering food, uh, which probably was not the case a year, year and a half back. Now, if you look at the entire ecosystem from a manufacturing to supply and to delivery, these are that ecosystem is evolving very, very significantly. And now you attach other aspects like payments, other aspects like secure payments, uh, validation. Um, these are are very, very different now. Um, look at say banking and financial sector. The entire KYC processes have evolved. What it used to be previously, now it's very, very different uh, with, with, with what we have today. Now, some of these impacts are going to um, last. Then also from the go-to-market perspective, we have a team which is focusing on the large customers. Um, uh, working with the various use cases with them. And then also we are working with various partners. And these partners are vary from a large system integrators um, to a solution partners. So it's kind of a taking care of um, the large enterprises to um, you know, small and medium enterprises to a system integrator. So our strategy is to work across the segment of, of customers and partners with the product which is very relevant and local for India.